Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today we're going to talk about the reference point instance properties. And we're going to focus on the measurement type. Okay, so let's start. So first to create a, a conceptual mass. So you can go new, it's here. And um, it can also be adaptive family because uh, it's also a mass environment okay so now let's create a quickly create a spline oops okay so this is a spline through point and also i'll just create a cir circle here so now place a point draw on face and place it here place it on this reference line and also place another point on this circle so now this if you select this point, so you will see all these uh, properties. Um, so this is a measurement. Okay. So if you if you change, so currently the default mesh, uh, measurement type is normalized curve parameter. And so you will see here normalized curve parameter. So it's a number between zero to one. So if you type in zero, it will go to this end. And if you type in 1, it will go to this end. Type in 0 0.5, it will go to the midpoint of this spline. So this is it. So you can move this point. So you will see the number will always change between 0 to 1. OK, so. And then let's have a look. So the other option here, so this one's actually, uh, it will be quite confusing if you use it on this, but if, let's have a look at this one. So select so this point, so this is the default from zero to one. If I type in zero, it will go this end. Type in 0 0.5, it will go to this here. Type in one, it will come back to the beginning, the starting point. And of course, you can't have a number bigger than one, so 1.1, 1 .1, no. So um, now, if I change this one to non-normalized curve parameter, so now we have the option to, so from, so for example, so this is actually, so you will see this is actually pi times two, right? So we can go back to zero. It will start from here again. So if I drag this one, so it will see the start to increase. And if I move this point to here, it become pi 3.14159926. And, and move this will increase. And then to here it will become two times pi. So um, think roughly here we go back to zero maybe we can just type in equals pi so this is pi times two so you will see it will go back to the same uh, point of um, zero so the the good thing about this is you can so if we drag this to here, it will become back to, oh, oh, actually it's still increasing. See? So it will increase, increase. Ah, oh, so, sorry, actually it go back to zero points. So you can actually type in a number larger and then type a pi times two. For example, I can type, type 10. So it will just go around and around. So you can type in 100. So this, I think this um, can be useful for some, um, I don't know, <laughs> potentially. Okay, so that's, that's it. So now let's have a look at the next one. So next one, segment length. I think this one should be very straightforward. So this is a distance, not distance, but um, the length of this line. So between this point to this. So if I drag to this here, it should be zero. And if I drag this to this end, it should be the length of this uh, spline. So see, uh, 64. If I select this line, it tell me this the length of this spline is 60 
four meters so I think that's it and then let's change this one to normalize the segment length so this time it become uh, it go back to zero and one um, actually I'm not really sure so these two are very diff very oh, sorry very similar so same from one to uh, from zero to one but I'm not sure because if you change these so you will see the numbers are actually different so if I type in 0 0.1 on the, oh, sorry 0 0.5 on the curved parameter it goes to here okay and then if I change this to normalize segment length and it becomes 0 0.46 so it looks like uh, from the look of this line this is shorter and but on the curved parameter this is the midpoint so I'm not quite sure I, I, I'm pretty sure the segment length if I type in 0 0.5 th this point is um, where so this part th the length of this part equals this but if I go back to curve parameter type in 0.5 I'm not sure why this point is the 0.5 because it looks like this is shorter so I don't know I don't know how what difference is between these two so if you know please let me know okay so but usually I just uh, most of the time I'll just use curve parameter normalized curve parameter with you know one and uh, with percentage uh, so between number between one, zero to one and if I I need to so sometimes if uh, when I have you know uh, when I have a line reference line oops sorry set word plan first so set word plan and level one draw a reference line so sometimes I want to place this point exactly you know next uh, I want to have exact this the distance between this point and this point so I will always use segment length okay so if we use segment length and we can so currently this one's from this point is 3.4 meter so for example one meter so this point so there will be one meter from this point to this point okay so now let's just delete this one and let's have a look of this point again so now the last one is core length so core length is so if I move to here is the distance between this point to this point so it's no longer the length of the spline it's the distance between the point so if I drag so the, oh, actually it's a little bit hard to because of the because the shape of this spline so it looks like so I see it, it, it 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 won't go to here so maybe I'll just change the shape of this let me just drag this so drag this down become more less curved so now yeah okay so if I select this point and this point and create a spline through point so this the length of this line will be the code length okay so select this point it tell me 13.4 meter and then if I select this point a uh, line tab select so that's a number okay so that's it I believe okay so this is the reference point so reference the, the measurement type of reference point and all these options okay I think I think this is this is it the the measurement type of reference point on a reference line okay so um, now I'm going to quickly talk about another thing um, this time will be divided path so let me just draw 
another spline through points our level one that's good oops don't work let me try again to set work plan pick work plan okay so reference line so this is a reference line and select this reference line and click on divide path so now we have this so if if you move your cursor on this and select you will select this divided path uh, if you tab and you you will be able to select this uh, reference line okay so let's go back and select this divided path um, now you have these options so one first one's layout and the other one's a measurement type so the same same name but different okay so different to the the previous one so let's have a look of these two options so first fixed number so apparently you can just type in a number here or you just type in here and then another hang let me try this one so currently the core the measurement type is chord length which is the distance the if if I draw a straight line between these nodes so they uh, will be the same the length of this uh, straight line will be the same okay so let me try this doesn't work okay that's fine <laughs> let's go back to the layout so we have different options so if I change this to fixed distance rabbit will work out um, actually work out a distance for us so depending on the number so previous number we have so for example rabbit workouts we need this number oh sorry we need this distance to achieve the same number so 10 but we can change this of course we can change this uh, for example 3 meter and then with this uh, justification from beginning so rabbit start work so from this point 3 meter okay 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter 3 meter and then whatever we have at the end okay so we will have different uh, length um, and also the same chord length so let me just uh, draw maybe draw a line and maybe let me try pick not count maybe try this one 3d stamping yeah if I draw this line and the length of this one will be 3 meter okay let's delete this so go back to select this divided path and um, okay let's try this one segment length so now you will see it mo move these nodes a little bit so if I change this to core length so you will see you can tell from here this is because um, segment length is measuring the length of this reference line so it's no longer measuring the direct um, not direct straight line the length of the straight line we're measuring the ref the line the reference line so this curve so it will be three meter from this point to here okay so let's change this back to core length okay so let's have a look at the layout so minimum distance so this time so we if you type um, so so for example if you type it three meter so rabbit will work out a minimum distance to achieve um, we have so there's no so previously we have a little you know little segment there so now with the minimum distance rabbit will um, distribute that little segment to each one so and so for, so actually add 10.4 to each um, uh, I shouldn't say segment core length but yeah you will have equal length okay so if I type in um, actually if I change this one to maximum distance 
and the top in three meta again. So what we get is 2.7. So which means we can actually we have more one more nodes. So currently is 13. If I change this back to minimum distance three meter, we will have less nodes, 12 nodes. Um, yeah, that's that's it. So have a just have a play yourself. So and I noticed that um, not uh, this segment less. Sometimes it won't work. So for example, this. Um, not sure. Probably depending on the the curvature of, of this, but um. I'm not very sure. Um, yeah, just have a play yourself, and yeah, that work. Anyway, so maybe it will only work in um, you when when we use fixed distance. Yep. Okay, so that's it for today. Um, let's just uh, go back to this point, reference point. So I think if you um, um, if if you can work out what these why these two are different, please let me know. Okay. Um, and also, if you want to have a look of the official um, information of all these definitions of all these settings. So you can just go to Autodesk uh, Knowledge Network. So it's under reference point. So so you will see this here, measurement type, everything here. Just have a read. Yeah. OK, so that's it for today. If you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.